Yo, what's going on guys? Simsy here and today I have got a slightly different video for you but I just wanted to show you my brand new controller that has just arrived very kindly uh, provided to me from my sponsors AIM, AIM controllers. Um, I've actually had a AIM controller for just over a year now, about a year and two months, uh, which has not failed me uh, up until this point. It's kind of surprised me to be honest how long it lasted. A lot of people, I've, I've spoken a lot uh, about my experience with other controller brands um well i say other controller brands one main one in particular um when i first was trying to uh go, move from a dual shock uh across to a paddle controller um with scuff and i had a terrible experience i'd heard a lot of things about the scuff like a lot of negative press some good stuff don't get me wrong there's a lot of people that use them but a lot of negative things in terms of build quality um and, and complaints and, and things like that about things not arriving and working everything like that so take you back about a year or so ago i think it's about a year and two it's either a year or two a year and two months or a year and three months um but i ordered a scuff controller i made it i went with it anywhere i wanted to try it um because i'd kind of like obviously i have a fairly decent viewership i'd say nothing too drastic but i've got a decent viewership in terms of numbers and i was looking to try and get some uh sponsors that side of things to try and help grow my channel a little bit more um and i looked at scuff and thought that's, a, that's, that's one that everybody uses there must be a, a reason why but i would had a lot of people saying to me about how theirs is broken again and all these kind of things and even some of the sponsors the guy, guys that are sponsored by them um had had a lot of them sent back and sent back to them obviously sponsorship advantages they get them for free um and i kind of it kind of put me off a little bit but i went with it anyway i made one i spec one i spec i think it was a infinity i think it's called an infinity pro ps or four pro ps or something like that spec it i put everything on it it was like 200 and something pound um lo and behold it arrived a week late broken so i was just like nah nah i don't want to be i don't want to try and blag you guys just for the sake of a sponsorship <clears throat> and say that yeah i've got this great controller it's so good and try and like big it up to you guys and and sell you a, try and sell you a, a, some false reality it's just for me in my experience i'm not saying this what it's like with everyone but there's not great uh reviews um from them in particular and i know that they're the main brand that's why i'm saying them there's a lot of other smaller brands like aim that are starting to get um more known and more recognition and i think rightly so um but yeah that's why i then had that experience i was on the phone on stream to scuff like saying how have you managed to how have you managed to send me a product that's supposedly better than a dual shock controller all these kind of things we have 200 pounds and not one person can just plug it in and test it just before you send it just plug it in and test it a simple bit of quality control which i would expect of a company of that level but i was out of it from then um and i did that on stream and actually one of the guys from aim had been watching me anyway um, and he sent me an email that day saying, look, I know you've just had a bad experience with Scuff. I believe in my products. I'm going to send you one anyway. Um, tell me what you want and I'll send it out to you, etc., etc." I got my aim a year and two months later. It still works. The only thing that is now after, bear in mind that I play nine hours a day, six days a week for, <laughs> for, for that whole year and two months. So it surprised me how long it's lasted. I'm trying to see where I've even put it. Uh, here it's still perfectly intact still completely perfectly intact i'll go into like how it looks etc on my new one because it's, it's fairly similar i expect it's similar but just a little bit different um the only thing that started happening since modern warfare which i know a lot of people are having issues with not with just aim but just all controllers is a slight stick drift issue which i actually think has happened because of the dead zone introduction i didn't feel anything until dead zone was introduced so let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys have had any uh, issues since the dead zone has come about but it's been a year and a few months i need to keep my um controllers fresh so they've actually sent me they sent me a new one there's nothing wrong with my one i'm still going to use it but besides that stick drift anyway still completely usable so it's fine but for a year and two months of nine hours a day solid use for six days a week that's that's pretty good going that's good longevity um but yeah just wanted to show you how it looks when it arrives so it comes in an aim box just like that 
I'm not going to beat around the bush. I've opened it. I've seen it. It's not completely tidy in there. It does it does look a lot better when you open it up. I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, I've unboxed something for you guys, and I, I haven't even taken a sneak peek. Bullshit. Yes, you have. I'm, <laughs> I've opened it. It looks sick. I want to show you guys. I've not actually plugged it in yet, so I'll plug it in and light it up like a Christmas tree for you guys. Yeah, as you can see, I've messed it around a little bit. So it's not completely tidy, but this is the con uh, just the instructions on how you remap the paddles, which comes with every single controller. It actually comes with a charging cable, which I've got to be honest, I completely forgot they came with charging cables, and I've been buying USB charger cables every time they start falling out the back of the controller. I must have bought three cables, and I completely forgot about the fact that I've got one from my other controller, and I've got now this one as well, so feeling like an idiot. USB controller, uh, USB charger giveaway <laughs> sometime soon. I'm joking. Um, what is that? Is that like a lanyard? I think I've got a like, aim controller's lanyard. I want that. And aim controller's sweatband. Hashtag team aim. <laughs> and then you get like cloths and stuff to keep it clean. It comes with a load of thumbsticks in case. You know, yours break. It's giving me some different color ones. Got some red ones, got some white ones, some black ones. If you're that interested, there's some black ones. Different size thumbsticks as well. Sometimes thumbsticks get a little bit of uh, wearing, so it's quite good to get that. How many did they give me? One, two. Yeah, they gave me eight other thumbsticks for free. So it came with eight thumbsticks. I won't, I won't go through the controller yet, but yeah, it just comes in a box, just like that. Do some of the thumbsticks and cloths in there. Nice tidy production value from you, Simsy. That's fantastic. I'm gonna put the box down there, and we'll go through the uh, the the uh, give it give it some give it some vocals. Main event. And uh, go through the controller. But yeah, this is my brand new aim controller. Uh, here we go. Try and bring it up a little bit closer. My last one. I didn't have anything written across the touchpad, but you can. I've gone with uh, the SMSY fam on the uh, on the touchpad. I've got my logo just here. That's my my Simsy logo. You see that on my channel. You can get your you can get any image. Obviously, you know any image uh, placed on the controller, or you can have words. So I've got Simsy, my channel name written on the left hand side but you can have words or logo or you can have logo 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 all there you can have three different pictures if you really want i've kind of gone overkill just to try and show you guys all the options you don't have to spec it like this to be honest i, I think actually my other controller i might have actually i think it maybe looked a little bit cleaner without anything on the touchpad to be honest as you can see they're quite they're pretty much, I spec them pretty much the same from the front. Um, I don't know. It looks cool anyway. It looks cool. I just wanted to show you the fact that you can get all these options on on your controllers. And there's so much customization with AIM. It's unreal. I'm going to show you the coolest feature of this controller in a little bit when I plug it in. Um, but yeah, that's the front. I'll go a little bit closer again for you. You can spec the thumbsticks in different colors. You can spec all the buttons in different colors. Uh, you can spec the bumpers in different colors. You can select these. Uh, I can't even put my fingers on it on the mirrored face cam. The options button, where is it there? And there, you can spec those buttons, those two buttons in different colors as well. I've personally gone with black just because the base of the controller is black. So I thought it looked a little bit cleaner like that. I, I would say I like the more simplistic look, but it's covered in loads of different customization. But yeah, that's how that bit looks. And then if I spin this bad boy around, this is it from the back. For some reason I can't work out this this way for the middle and not over there because I'm a moron. But there you go. That's the back. I've gone with the matching to the uh, to the front buttons, the chrome gold option on just the triggers, and kept the bumpers as black just so it kind of molds the look in a little bit on the top, keeps it clean. So I've gone with the blue grip. There's tons of different colours on the grips as well. Um, and I'll show you again in a moment. I'm not sure if you can quite see what that is. I've got SMS Y fam written in. Uh, in the light bar which actually will light up when i plug the controller in so that looked pretty dope and then i've gone with the black uh black spider action remappable uh paddles now for me these paddles coming from a dualshock 
I couldn't get used to it very easily on the scuff when I got it. Yes, it was broken anyway, but I was trying to figure out where my hand position would be. If you're moving from a dual shot to a paddle controller, I swear this will be the easiest type of paddles that you can get used to. Because you hold it in a natural natural holding position of a dual shock anyway so you can just click the bottom paddle for example there and those two you can actually with the spider action as well i only use two paddles so i take off these top paddles i don't actually use the top two i just use two and then if i ever wanted to go four paddles i can just plug them back in you literally just unclip this remappable uh option here if you get a paddle controller do not <laughs> do not get it where you can't remap it it costs two pound get it because if you need to do a different button for example, like a different uh, button to remap. So you can map effectively the paddle on the left, say, for example, to X so you can jump. That's what I use it for. I use the left paddle, bottom left one here, so I can jump whilst I'm shooting. So I don't have the advantage of that being so that I don't have to take my thumbs off the thumbsticks, um, which can mess with my aim in order to, not the controller, as in my actual aim on game, mess with my aim to actually uh, hit somebody whilst I'm in game. So there's a lot of different things you can do just so you don't have to take your thumbs off the vital buttons at the wrong time and kind of mess yourself up. You've got four paddles, you can take two of them off. You literally just unclip that button, literally just go and then put them off. Easy as that, easy as that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the cooler side of this controller as well. If I just plug it in, bear with me two seconds. I haven't actually plugged this in before, so I need to plug it into charge and I'll show you what it does. I'm a moron. There we go. Look at that. All changes color. Completely reactive. It's, it's called the Storm, this one. So I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera. It's all like lightning bolts, different clouds and everything like that. And it uh, completely changes color. Yeah, super cool. And then, see the light? So you can have whatever words you want in there as well if, as an option, which is so dope. I had Simsy on it on my other one, but I've gone with the SMS Wi-Fi, which is like my, uh, my plan tag type thing and uh, what I've got my brand as. So keeping it as that. But yeah, that is my brand new aim controller. At the moment, I believe if you did want to cop yourself one of the, the aim controllers, I definitely recommend you guys at least check out the website. The customization that aim offer, as you can see, is in a different planet. It's so good. There's so many different options. If you want to get a fat discount at the moment, at the moment, I believe it's 55 55 euros off using my code it's like 55 60 euros i've got an eu site and us site for aim so you can use either of those depending on your location if you use code smsy just like my my light there smsy you get that discount make sure you use that code if you're going to get it but yeah hopefully you enjoy my uh, my controller reveal have a great rest of your night enjoy the video